what should your AI team look like? AI is a new space for most companies. A couple of decades back, when software revolution started, companies were trying to figure out how to leverage that technology for business. Today, we're in a similar situation with artificial intelligence, where companies are trying to figure out how to leverage this technology for business. AI can be a powerful tool, but just like any other tool, if it's not used right, it could end up being totally useless. So you have to hire the right talent that's right for your company, not what everybody else is saying. AI is a broad discipline which tries to mimic the human cognitive abilities. One subfield is machine learning that uses data for such mimicking. And deep learning is a subfield of that which specifically uses human brain-like structure for such mimicking. Since machine learning is getting a lot of focus nowadays, I'll dive into that a bit here. For machine learning to work, we need lots of data that we can use to train models that in turn represent that data effectively. Data comes in different forms, like tables, images, documents, emails, voice, and so on. Models also come in different forms. Let's look at some examples of data and models that are easier to understand. A list is a model. I can use the list to populate it with grocery items that I need to buy from the store. The data in this case are the items themselves. I can use the same model, the list, to populate it with my to-do items. The structure of the model remains the same, but the content changes based on different problems I'm trying to solve. Then I use the list to answer questions like how many items I've purchased, or what's the highest priority items. Of course, I can't use the list to solve all my problems. For example, if I wanna visualize my genealogy, I need to use a tree or a hierarchical structure, which is another type of model. Companies use tree structure to visualize their reporting structure. All companies use the same model, but populate it with their own people's names. In other words, the model has the same hierarchical structure, but the content is different across different companies. As with the list, we can use the hierarchy to answer many questions, such as how many people report to Peter or how many levels there are in the management structure. In both the list and the tree, humans assigned the data to different parts of the model. In machine learning, given a model, the machine tries to automatically assign the data to the different parts of the model. That's why it's called learning. Once data goes into the model successfully, we can ask questions that the model can answer for us. The idea behind machine learning is its ability to generalize the data. For example, if we provide a list of home prices with the attributes of the home, the system can populate a linear regression model or a decision tree model or a neural network model that minimizes some error. The number of data sets is infinite, while the number of machine learning models used to represent the data is much smaller. Just like how there is only one list model, but it can be used for many different purposes on different data sets. People who create new machine learning models will need to understand things like how to define error functions, how to traverse the parameter space, say with gradient descent, and how to design or modify complex learning algorithms like the backpropagation used in neural networks. Most companies will not be designing new machine learning models. Rather, they need to understand their data so that they can pick the right model and use it in the right way. In our simple example, you wouldn't use a tree model to manage a list. In the same way, most companies need to focus a lot on understanding the data, such as using the right data, if it's consolidated, if it's good quality, if it's tagged and protected, governed, and a lot more. Data is where the value and competitive differentiation is. If that's the case, Build teams that understand data and can use machine learning models. You don't need to hire machine learning scientists who research and build new types of models. We can leave those skills to the Googles and the Ubers of the world. 
Yes, there is a talent gap in this space, but some of this is perceived and overblown because everyone wants to hire people who have deep knowledge of deep learning. Pardon the pun. People who know how to access and manage data, working along with domain experts who can help these data experts interpret data or the core members of the team. They use the existing machine learning models to learn the data in the most effective way. That's what most companies need. As an analogy, if you want somebody to write great documentation, you wouldn't be looking for a person who has internal working knowledge of say Microsoft Word, because you don't intend to develop a new word processing system. Rather, you need a great writer. Likewise, if you want to use data to enhance customer service, reduce costs, or increase profitability and growth, then find people who understand data and the domain, much more than people who design new models. Focus on the right skills needed to build teams that can help your organization become more data-driven. If you enjoyed this video, please consider subscribing. For a one-page visual summary of this video, sign up on my website. Thank you deeply for giving me the motivation to do what I do.